These seats free. On your dome, mate. On your way for the match? Yeah. I've seen you somewhere before. I don't think so, mate. Watford? Was you over Watford? <coughs> or Wolverhampton? I definitely know you from somewhere. On your own? No, I'm supposed to be making a cut of my mates. Taking a bit of a risk, ain't you? Travelling all the way across here on your own? Uh, do you know I don't support the home side? You don't, do you? No. I know. That night down the pub, that's where I seen you before. What about it? You was the lad saw off Fresno. You see the one who got hurt? No. That was Victor. They gave him the wrong name. But you uh, didn't say nothing to nobody, did you? Good lad. What about that friend of yours? Dark hair. One that laid into Victor. I didn't lay into him. I tripped over. It was an accident. Whatever it was, it was enough to send Victor into this coma. I, I told you. The fella was already on the floor when he tripped over him. Poor old Victor. Never play the piano again. Cup of tea, love. Ah, what's that? Yeah. Who's this shit? Oh, we ain't introduced ourselves yet. He's all right, though. I've seen him in action. Derek. Robin. Hello, Robin. This is Harry. He just graduated from the porridge factory and all. Snake and safe. All right. What are we going to do now, then? Gunning? Yeah, might as well. It's getting a bit crazy in here. What you going to do, Robin? You going to have a few mates? You going to come along with us? Oh, I might as well come here. Don't look like they're going to show. Yeah, well, we're going down the terraces in there, in. Oh, me. Oh, well, you've got to get that off. Oh, and you're better down these too. I can see them from here. I've had about five already. I don't feel I'm like getting yeah, any more. Take them off. Right? Well, nah, can't we stay? Oh, I'll well, pay for them. Cheers. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Right. Here you go, boys. Get it down here. That's my bed over there. Poster. Thanks. Take your jacket off, Julie. Make yourself at home. Ain't you got a room of your own? Yeah. Suppose you would have been the only one. Do you mind not having any brothers or sisters? Not really. Don't think about it much. Are these your sisters? Yeah, she sells them. She's clever, isn't she? <laughs> They're all right. She's brilliant. Oh, what's that one? That's horrible. I thought you liked them. Not that one. Not as old as the picture of the rabbit was, eh, Beck? Nah. But who's going to wear that? I think it's for that Rennie Burtles. Sure did it specially. You know her. Nah. Tall blonde girl in the sixth form. Nah, I don't know her. Yes, you do. She goes around with that Callie Donington and that Georgina what's it. Oh, I know Georgina is. She's that really pretty one. She's not that pretty. Oh, I think she is. Yeah, she is. she buying a T-shirt as well? I think that one with the big flower might be for her. She wears really lovely clothes. Do you like this one? It's for Jacko. It's a picture of his dog. <laughs> Whatever you do, do not mention it. Tell you what, I'll pretend I'm deaf and dumb that way. I won't cause you any bother. And don't be stupid. Please, there she is. Hi, Ronnie. All right, Cal. Sorry, we're late. We couldn't find any way to park. It's all right. Uh, this is John, and this is my best friend, Ronnie. All right, John. Hello, Ronnie. Been buying something nice? Oh, just got some shoes. Let's have a look. They're quite nice. Oh, canvas, too. Oh, don't take any notice of him. He's always taking the mic. I'm not taking the mic. Blimey. So what are we going to do now? I thought I was supposed to be taking you two girls for a cup of tea. Yeah, so did I. So did she. She's only making out she can't think what to do. Give her a minute, she'll come up with the idea and make out she only just thought of it. Stop it, will you? Come on, darling, I'm only teasing. How much longer is it going on? What's that, then? Special dinners for the Hunger Project. Um, all next week, I think. Do we have to eat that stuff every day? You don't have to eat it at all. It's voluntary. Not much. Just think yourself lucky that you have the choice. If you were out in Ethiopia or Sudan with my big brother, you wouldn't have any choice. You might not have anything to eat at all. 
Is that going to be Monday? We'll be all right on Monday, though. We have the stuff we're cooking in home economics. Chili con carne. We'll be eating it before we go home. We can sell it on the black market. I tell you what, that's not a bad idea. What? Well, if we made it up, I mean, a lot of people are going to be hungry. We could sell it. Sell it? Yeah, look, bring extra bits. Bring as many as you can. We could get other people in on it. Yeah, maybe some of the girls. I could phone Becky. She'd probably do it. This is a brilliant idea. We could make a fortune. Yeah. Yeah. This is not what I call dinner. Stop moaning. She has to accept people do eat me. How much meat is there in a hamburger? Pass. Look, she's coming, please. Just this once and just for you. Oi, do you know what I heard from Justin? Apparently there's loads of cats and dogs gone missing around this way. Yeah? Yeah, they reckon someone's nicking them for vivisection. <laughs> Joking. And they think they know who it is. No one nicks animals for vivisection these days. They do, you know. No, they don't. They breed them. There are too many government regulations. Can you reach me the ketchup and mustard? Yes, sir. How do you know? Read it somewhere. Do you want some sugar? I don't take sugar, account. Some bloke in a white van has been seen cruising around the streets late at night. I'm telling you, whatever he's doing, he ain't nicking pets. Labs wouldn't buy them. Leave it out. Do you eat cheese? Yeah. You're not a vegan? No, I just don't eat meat. No. Why don't we go and see a film or something? Probably being a vegetarian. What are they going to do with all the animals? How do you mean? Well, no one's going to keep chickens and pigs as pets, are they? Without their farmer, they'd all die out. It's economics. Does anybody know what's going on in the cinema? I was there. I told you I saw it. Well, come on. I can't be far ahead. Derek, uh, I'm going to shoot off up here. Just nah, shoot. you stick with us, son. Yeah. Don't take no shortcuts oh, around here. Come on, come on. Do they are? You. Come on. 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 It's a trap! We've got to walk into a trap! Boys, stand your ground! Where are you going? Come on, boys, 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 where are you going? Milk cup. Oh, oh you hey, little bad old Wednesday. Wednesday. Milk cup. Oh, oh we're all going to Bolton. We're all going to Bolton. It's a milk cup. We're all off to Bolton. We're all going to Bolton. Yes, you are. Oh, yes, you are. Yes, yes, you are. 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 Yes, you I would say nothing right about you and your friends. You should keep stomped about me. Oh, you did do nothing, did you? I wasn't even there, son. I just don't know how you can go out with someone who thinks like him, Cal. Well, it's not like that when you really like someone. You don't have to agree on everything, you know. Yeah, but this is important. I know it is. Look, I haven't changed what I think just because I'm going out with him. I even did those notices for you. You know, the ones warning everybody about the white van. Yeah, but that's why you didn't want me to meet him for so long, weren't it? What well, do you blame me? I just knew you'd end up arguing. OK, then, Tracy, bye. Ronnie, Callie, over here. You've got your T-shirts? Oh, oh great. Cheers, Oh, that is fantastic. Look, that's Cal. good, isn't it? Beautiful. How much do I owe you? Three fifty. Oh, can we pay you tomorrow? Well, oh, we really need it today. Oh, I can give you two pounds now. All right, then. Let's yeah, go. we've got this problem, you see. Yeah. Oh, what's that problem we've got? Cash flow. Yeah, we're really desperate for money. Yeah. I'll give you the rest tomorrow, all right? Cheers. Right. Cheers. Hello. What are you doing here? Nothing. Just waiting for someone. Who? No one. Never mind. Actually, I've got to go now. Would 
Would you please stop following me? I'm not following you. Everywhere I go, you're behind me. Now, what do you want? I'm not following you. You got a thing about her, ain't you? No, I haven't. Look, you're not to tell anyone, all right? You're weird. Real weird. It's all right. He's a bit of a nutter, but he's all right. Yeah, but what did he say? All I'm telling you is he recognised me and he remembers you. Yeah, but is that all? I'm glad I couldn't come now. Yeah, that fella's in a coma because he got a kick in the head, you know? Yeah, but it wasn't me. I didn't kick him that hard. I told him that. Anyway, the old Bill don't know nothing about us. Yeah, that's something. And he ain't gonna say nothing about us being there. Well, why did I ever go to the pub in the first place? How can you say that, Mike? You was. And what happened was an accident. Look, it's gonna be sweet, all right? Look, I'm sure I didn't hit the man hard enough to do any real damage. Is he gonna die? I don't know, do I? Stop worrying about it. Come on. Hi, listen. I've made a list of films for Saturday. It is still on, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Hello. Hello, it's Mike now. Thanks. Yo, man. What, do you want one? Hey, oh. hey. I'm it here. Oi. Oi, stop it. Oh, you got into a bit of a fight. Didn't last weekend. Training? How about you? Yeah, um, listen, there's something I wanted to tell you. Yeah? Well, I sort of, um, promised Aisha I'm gonna double date with him next Saturday. Oh, right. Do you think you can manage it? What, with me? <laughs> of course with you. Oh. Do you think you can get Robbie to come for Aisha? Yeah, sure. Do you rather it was just us, Carl? What's wrong? I do like you. Yeah, I like you too. Going missing. We thought we'd tell people what was going on so they could keep theirs indoors. Do you like the t-shirts? They certainly make an impact. Yeah, that's what we thought, miss. Just so long as they don't give anybody nightmares. Russell, I have explained to you. We're not being difficult, dear, but you're only supposed to cook for one person. But my mum will kill me if I don't come home with a meal. She's out working, you see. She gets ever so tired. See, I told you she wouldn't let us. Don't fuss. You are always fussing. Look, Ali, start cooking. Light the gas under this, will ya? I'll get the onions. Oh. Where's the meat? You've got to fry the onions for five minutes first. Just stump it in, will you, before she sees. Now, how are you girls getting on? Fine. Fine. Hello, mate. What's up? I've been thinking. Yeah? Well, if that bloke recognised you, the one from the pub... Yeah? Yeah, well, that means somebody else might have recognised us who was there that night as well. Yeah, I suppose I could have done. Well, that means I can't go in for these county trials, can I? Because when I win, they're going to put my name and my picture in the paper and everything. Oh, right. I promised Robson and my dad I'd do it. I was all psyched up. Well, why don't you take the chance? I mean, you might not win. I would win. I can't risk it. Oh, sir. Hello, stranger. <laughs> don't tell me you've come to collect that lamp you made last year. No, I was just talking to Robbie, sir. I've kept it for you. Uh, do you want to take it? Yeah, all right, if you want. I hear great things about you. You've got a big race coming up. Peter Robson was telling me. in your family. How would you know? You're all up to something. And the girls, what are you all up to? Never mind. What's it for? Just tell me, what's it for? <laughs> Georgina Hayes, does she really? <laughs> <laughs> Is 
If you don't tell me, I'll get my big brother on you. If you don't shut up, I'll shove this down your neck. Judy loves Georgina Heights. Lovely. Shut up. Just shut up. Mm -hmm. She loves her, yeah, yeah. Shut yeah. up! Will you flame your mouth? Stop yeah. it! What on earth do you think you're doing? Turn that tap off at once. How dare you dredge these girls? They started it, miss. We did not! They did. They said something. Sticks and stones. Shut up. You promise you wouldn't tell. Russell, would you get a cloth and mop this floor before someone slips, please? Ain't like Julie. What'd you say anyway to set her off? Well, don't you dare tell him. Oh, Carolyn and Veronica, could you just pop into my office, please? I'd like a quick word. Those horror comics, keep them for outside wear, please. I beg your pardon, sir? Those T-shirts. I don't know where you got them, but I don't want to see them in school again. Well, what's wrong with them? Mrs McCluskey saw them and she didn't object. Anyway, we're six formers. We can wear what we like. Well, that's a slight exaggeration. You don't have to wear school uniform, but you are expected to dress within the realms of good taste. I repeat, I do not want to see them in school again. Yes? OK. It's not that I don't want to compete on Do you know what I sir? think? I think you're crazy. You've got the makings of a professional athlete. A lot of kids would give their eye teeth to have your potential. I won't last forever, but it can take you a very long way while it does. Come in. Hello, Max. Thank you for coming. Well, now, what is all this about? I don't want to compete on Saturday, sir. What's the matter with you, Bentley? First you do want to compete, then you don't. What's going on? I've told... I've tried to tell Mr Robson. I'm just sick of it. I've had it with all this running. I just want a normal life, sir. You don't think about your father at all, do you? The amount of effort he's put in. Yeah, well, I can't live my life for him anymore, can I? What about the school? Now, Mr. Robson's also put in a huge amount of effort. Sorry, sir. Mike, please reconsider it. If you stop going for it now, you're not going to be able to make up lost ground, you know. It'll be a decision that you'll regret for the rest of your life. I don't think it is. Mike, believe me, it's a gift the way you run. Now, I never had that gift, but if I had, I wouldn't have stopped until I got to be Olympic champion. But this is it. I'm just sick of people pushing me around. I'm not doing it, and that's final, all right? Okay, that's mummy. Well done. Jacob, you've got a dog. You've seen this. Listen, I can't stop now. Are you going into the dining room? Yeah. Well, tell anyone who's still hungry after the starvation now to come to the bike sheds. We've got chili con carne on sale. See you later. I don't understand. You put in all this time training. You set your mind on doing the trials. Why? Why aren't you going to run? I'm just sick of it. I'm fed up with all this training. Besides, there's other things I want to do. It's because you think I don't want you to run. I resent your training because I don't. I knew about your running before I got involved with you. I had thought about it. Just leave it, George. No, we have to talk about it. It has to be sorted out, Mike. It is important. Look, you can talk to me. You can tell me whatever you want. You're afraid of losing. Do you want me to come training with you? Just leave it, George. Mike, I want you to run! It's none of your business. I'm the one who has to run, not you, so just lay off. What's going on over there? Looks like they're selling something. Yeah, they are. I know what it is and all. They didn't ask us if they could sell nothing. No, but listen, I've got something to tell you. We might as well go and get with the action. Yeah, at least a bit of the profit. No, but hang on, hang on. I've got something to tell you, and I think it's going to be a good laugh. <laughs> With your fingers, what'd you expect for 20 feet? But it's dripping everywhere. Look, we're doing you a favour. Yeah, I've got some cuts. Mind your backs. Excuse me. <laughs> Sorry. Is it up? Get out of the way. No. 
I don't think your teacher knows you're doing this. Barry, what do you want? I'll have a freak up for start. Yeah, and no, I will. Don't. Barry, don't! Barry! What do you reckon? Now, why should we? If you don't, I'm going to tip this whole pan out on the ground. You just try it. The alternative dining room. How long has this been going on? We just started today, miss. Yeah, who said the young aren't enterprising anymore? Sorry, miss. <coughs> What's the matter? <coughs> it's too hot, miss. Is it? <coughs> oh. Somebody's hand slipped with the chilli powder. I knew you'd got it wrong, Jacko. I never, Becky. I think that in that case, everybody in front of the counter and everybody behind of the counter. I think you should all be served. And when you are, you can all sit over there and eat the delicious meal, which... Jacko, Becky. Becky and Russell have prepared yeah, for right. you. That's right. Don't And it. I think that Lee and Barry should have specially big portions. Don't you? I want it. Eat and kneel. Why? I ain't done nothing. Now you. Julie. Leave me alone. I think she's really pretty, don't you? I think she wears lovely clothes. Shove off, will ya? I, I still love, love you. Shouldn't say what. All right, Mike. Yeah, well, more or less. Well, it's the least you could do in the circumstances. Yeah, but I seem to match it up with Georgina as well, don't I? Oh, you can sort it out now. Here she comes. See you later on. You don't go getting into any more rucks, all right? I don't know. We'll see what crops up, mate. You're right. Yeah. Why? Shouldn't I be? Look, I just wanted to say I'm sorry about lunchtime. No, you're right. I mean, you are the one that has to run. I'm so confused. Why? I don't know. Now I've upset you. I'm not upset. I'm just worried for you. I do like you, George. I know you do. Come in. It'll be all right. Well, there's the answer staring me in the face. It might interest you to know that Mr Hargreaves telephoned me a few minutes ago. He's coming to talk to you. So I can see. You're a disgrace. This is all your fault. My fault? Don't you go dragging her into this. You've got him infatuated with you, and you know it. Don't yell at me, cos I don't want him to drop out the trials. All I know is there was none of this nonsense of cutting practice, let alone cutting events before he met you. How dare you? Don't you shout at me! If you didn't treat Mike like some machine... Get in the car. No. Did you hear what I said? Dad, you're making a fool of yourself. Will you do as I tell you? I'm not getting in the car and I'm through running any more races for you. If you want to win some races, then you better run them yourself. 